This week's episode of the Deck Chair Numbers Podcast brought to you by Patreon. That's right, there's no fake advert this week. I'm oh, literally just Jesus. advertising the Patreon. So, if you want to get involved in over 200 hours of podcast footage, including agony hours, including pub quizzes, there's also exclusive access to our stand-up sets. Mm-hmm. My Ulster Hall from 2019, Connor's Brickwork set from... <laughs> My big Brickwork set from... 2019. 2019. So, and there'll be more coming. We're going to be filming specials. We're going to be doing some cool stuff on the Patreon. But mm-hmm. you have to jump on and give us a pound a month if you want. And to you might it. also get uh, advanced tickets for live podcasts. You might get, you might get advanced Ooh. tickets for live podcasts or live shows if we are inclined to do so. <laughs> but for now, if you're listening to this for free, you're a tramp. Only joking. We love, all, <laughs> we love all kinds of support here, Connor. Do us a favor. Play that fucking intro. <laughs> Yeah, what's up, motherfucker? Yeah, what's up, motherfuckers? You're all very welcome back to another episode of the Deck Turn Yums podcast featuring me, Mickey Motherfucking Bartlett, and him, Connor Motherfucking Keys. Sup? I don't know why. In my head, I said, I was. I did that head wiggle, which you won't have seen if you listen to this for free on Spotify, but in my head, I felt like I was going, I miss Mia Walls. <laughs> Pulp Fiction? Do you know? Yeah. Miss Mia Walls. I don't know why I know that's, <laughs> that's Uma Thurman, but I did it as Ving Rames. You did? Yeah. Miss Mia Walls. That's pretty good. That's, that's very good. Uh, so I've got, the, I've got the, the raspy tone for it. Aye, it's very sexy tone. As I Lambert Butler's by. I said, by fucking 20 minutes hedge. Yeah, so I can't believe Mickey Bartlett did a fucking, a professional ad for our actual professional ad, man, I'm, I'm very professional this week, do you know what I mean? Like last, uh, we'll catch up on the weekend just past. Mm-hmm. Friday night, I went down to Daly's Noma. And uh, it was meant to do half an hour. Well, we'll talk about the Patreon first before you move well, we'll talk about it yourself. Uh, well, I to say I've told them, fucking pay for it. I know, but we, we also want to point out that we do love our and we, uh, we do appreciate yes. it, all the support. And we know it's something on the money's tight and sometimes you can't afford a pound a month. But sure, why hate the house when you can be kept warm in the cockles with the dulcet tones of two fat fellas that smoke too much? Yeah. And we probably would, you know, let's be honest, if we will get them laughing so hard that it pr- produces heat. I don't know. It's kinetic like, energy or I something. Don't I don't know. Some many shit podcasts, right? But I would say if there's one that was aphrodisiac, mm-hmm. it'll be this one. Do you know what I mean? If you're at home with your, your, your fellow, your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, your same sex partner, and you're thinking to yourself, do you know what's going to get us in the mood? Yeah, it's not going to be love songs, Celine Dion, Chanel. Not at all. It's not going to be the roaring of a fire. It's going to be me saying things like, fuck cunt, pish, flaps, writing book. Do you mean it's going to be the farts of two men on poor diets? That's what it's going to be. Me talking about psoriasis. If that doesn't make you wet, I don't know what will. Okay? It really should. Get wet because I can't. <laughs> That's my that's, that's my advice to you, young lovers at home. <laughs> that has to be on a t-shirt somewhere. Get, Get wet because I can't. There's another, bit of, there's another merch idea she stuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Moisten your lips, Ethel. It's time to put the steroids on. Is what I say in the house. Get wet because I can't. <laughs> oh, lovely. There we are. Well, no better way to yeah, start off exactly. the episode. <laughs> Spread the lips while you still can. Because when I try to, stuff falls off. Oh. She loves me. She <laughs> loves me enough. She loves me. She loves me. Look at that there, though. Yeah. I mean, You're looking pretty, yeah, well, well, in comparison. It still looks weird. It still looks like grilled sausage, but I mean, nearly well, normal. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, you know, do you remember when Deadpool sort of growing back his, like, legs That's and stuff? That's rude, man. That, that is rude. No, but you know how oh, fresh the skin is? I thought you because they're tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Because no. I have the, the hands of a T-Rex? No, I meant just because they were, you know, the, the skin growing back in. You know, it yeah. looks like new, brand new skin, which it's it probably is. Sweet Jesus, he's clapping. Two weeks ago, he was a Mickey Mouse I'm fucking... Clapping, I'm riding. He's a Mickey Mouse gloves two weeks ago, and now he's fucking clapping. Tell you what, sack. there's something to be said for probiotics and just oh. nothing but lettuce. <laughs> lettuce aki? Uh, uh-huh. It turns out now if I don't have wheat, <laughs> I don't go scabby. <laughs> Because I came home on Saturday night there, and I know people say you shouldn't be drinking alcohol if you have psoriasis. Well, I came home and drank three quarters of a bottle of Jameson, and sure it didn't get any worse at all. No. And if anything, it got better. <laughs> I will say, though, uh, I'm definitely, I've, I know I keep saying it every week in the podcast, and mm. for the last two years I've been saying it, definitely too old to be drinking of a Saturday night. Yes. Because I thought I was having a fucking panic attack the last two days. <laughs> the hangovers do get worse as Man, the age Like I mean, like, my heart was beating, yeah. and I was going, that's... That's, That's not, not normal. normal, yeah. Like I, I was like, did I take cocaine in the middle of the night and didn't tell myself? Because this is fucking dire. Secret sniffs. I swear to God, man, I was like, maybe, maybe, I've been, maybe I've been washing my clothes in coke instead of fucking washing powder and I'm going to go to bed at night. 
I'm going full Narcos. And is it, do you think, it, like, well, I, right no, here, I'm saying, I'm saying, I guarantee you go back next time and go, no, it's just the cycle's been longer. <laughs> yeah. Around here, they would call it the blues, you know, the next day after the, the blues. Oh, the I, I, blues. Did you have any of them, no? Don't even fucking talk to me. I w- like, was they, having, were, they were fucking navy. Man, I was having to pretend I wasn't still drunk on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> like fully like uh huh mm-hmm, and uh-huh. How, did, how did your uh, performing arts degree play out then man they were like you do a very good Oliver Reed because <laughs> I look fucking half dead the whole day I, I was like rough was it rough as fuck because uh, I'll tell you what happened I d- no, well I let's, to, let's take it back to, to, to the week we'll take, we'll take it back to the week right so so last week we had uh, well you didn't gigs during the week, during the week? Did you during the week, I gigged. Before we got to the weekend? Well, I'm trying to think, what, when did we record, we record, the, pod, the, record the podcast? Tuesday. Uh-huh. I believe I gigged Wednesday. I think you did, oh. But I can't be sure where it was. No, I can't mind. We were in, I was in Straban in the boiler room on Thursday night. I was in Pug Uglies on Thursday. Yes. We had Paul Curry. Yes. In I, Straban. Well, we did Pug Uglies and there was, there was the first half uh-huh. was Kieran Bartlett, Sean Haggerty, me. Right. right in Pug Ugly, which uh-huh. could be a bit of a yeah, tough yeah, room. Yeah. And on paper, a lineup like that shouldn't really have worked because it's three drastically different types of stand-up. Yes. And everybody had just a really lovely gig. Maybe. Like we all walked off you stage going, that was just really, really nice. That was really, really lovely. Um, yeah, Boiler Room was the same as Draban because it was a wee bit strange because Paul Curry. If you haven't... Uh, Experienced Paul Curry live. I don't know how to explain it to you, and I couldn't you need explain to go it. See him. Yeah, I couldn't explain it to the people of Japan. I was like, you just have to see it. Yeah, you would. You yeah. would if we told you what Paul Curry did, you wouldn't believe us. <laughs> yeah, and the worst thing is, you literally wouldn't believe people. And, and even himself, when he came and he seen how small the boiler room, and I mean, you're on a pallet on a, as a stage, and he has to do. Is all it called of his the thing. boiler room because of Rowan? Uh-huh. Name a gig after himself. The balls. Uh-huh. Sure, you know right. Uh-huh. But he, he didn't spell it as it's a like me having a podcast called Deck Chair and some oh I. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so yeah Curry coming out and I thought oh fuck and I was worried I was MC but I was worried going I wonder how they're going to take because you, you need to buy into Paul Curry you yeah. can't just be especially in a small room if you, if you, you can't but Paul Curry's almost like a quaalude from Wolf Wall Street if you yeah. resist it it's going to get better <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, so he fucking yeah I tore the roof of the place they really got on board and he was Really, really fucking shocked at how Dang. good it went down and all the rest. But, and then same thing, as, as it was over, people were walking out going, I don't know what I just seen. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, try and explain it to people to work tomorrow. Yeah. You wouldn't uh, you be able to explain it. Like, how do you explain panda hands? Do you do panda hands? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> did he do, it was moida. Yeah. Yeah. No, I no. did uh, the $6 million man with the two people. <laughs> the oh, he does the $6 million man now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no kiss the duck anymore. No kiss the duck. Yeah, uh, I mean, duck in, you can't it, do it. No space for kiss the duck. Um, you can't be sharing ducks now. No, that's true. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, you can't suck a duck anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but that was a fucking. That was a cracking because it normally you know yourself when you go do gigs all the time you'll like say something to someone to close you go out for fag and you'll you know you'll fitter about right. Aye. I joined Looted. the audience. Yeah. I was in the fucking yeah. audience for it. You just you can't experience it in the other Did way. Did you go for a fag during my set in dailies? Yes. Fuck you. It was a long set. It was uh, <laughs> But a belter. It was a belter. I did it at the start, actually, because I knew you'd started into the... I, I need to say this. The the audio <coughs> recording, whoever you have doing that in dailies, yes. you could release that set as a fucking album. Yeah, it's well, that was... Beautiful. That was... Uh, I've listened to it three times. And every single time <laughs> I think, fuck, I'm funny. <laughs> that was my idea because uh, we learnt from Mr. Tom Stead was here one time and we recorded it through the, the PA system mm-hmm. and his voice was fucking unbelievable. Yeah. But it was talking to an empty room. Like, like, and I was at the gig and I know he killed, but you have to really, really strain to hear there's an audience even there. Yeah. So I got uh, Sean Daly to put some money into putting two microphones above the audience. In the, the room, and it makes a fucking... I, honestly, if I was to, to die suddenly, I would want that release as a posthumous album. Ooh, that would be my yeah. Mr. P, Patrice O'Neill type of thing. <laughs> right, okay. Like, <laughs> Get that out. Do you know what I mean? Like, with the, the caveat being, like, in the description, you'd be mm. like, Mickey was working on some new material, and this was fresh, brand new material he'd never done before. To be honest... Imagine you... what it could have been. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but to be honest... If the you, didn't get him. You, say, you sent me a message saying that could be released as an album, and it made me think then, going... Do you remember that? Like, the, a comedy album was massive you no, know, in I, the day. I don't remember physically ever buying them. No, I don't mean like we think. I don't mean vinyl, but I mean like uh, a comedy audio yeah. was a big thing. Whether it was either. Still, I mean, there's still there's audio clips. I still listen to them. Like of uh, Patrice O'Neill's, those unreleased ones. But mm. like, 
There's uh, a button, loads of them. That's what I'm wondering, but I'm, I'm thinking it's a, it's a it's not, not a dead art because everything's in video, but maybe we could, like, whenever you finish that material, you could post that. You could absolutely could the stick it out and, and say, yeah, go. Yeah. Because you could listen to that, no problem. Yeah. Like in, in a drive or whatever, because the audio is so good. The only bits that would be upsetting is that about three times that the punchline for the joke is, I haven't finished that one either. <laughs> <laughs> there also is another joke that maybe... Here. Might have to be edited out. <laughs> but fuck me. I turned to my... So I've I've roped in my, my, my godson, Ashi, to do the door. And Ashi will stand beside me. And Mickey said, oh, I'm going to do the worst joke I've ever said. And I said, I turned to him and I was like, would you hear this? <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I just, just watched. And the fucking room, I mean, the reaction. I, I did listen to that part. I wanted to listen back to that. And I listened to that. I was like, that was fucking brilliant. That was fucking beautiful. <laughs> So I, I can't tell the joke. I can't tell the joke, but I'll just say that <laughs> you Ian should Tom, go and see him live. If you want to hear the joke? Comes, well, but only in certain times. <laughs> 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 Come see me live. Some were very Protestant, uh, but it was Ian Thompson was on before, and Ian is a bit where um, I don't, not, not spoil his jokes or anything like that. But um, there's, a, there's a point where he's sort of chanting "Dup." Yeah, he's getting yeah, it's, and it's very very good. And he's playing around with the, with the form, and it's great. Uh, so I tell a joke that's. <laughs> I mean, what would you call it? I mean, plain rude. Horrible? 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 Would you say horrible? Rude might be it's not really hard. It's a play on words. It's a it very a play clever on play word. on words. Yeah. The problem is, like... I mean, does, like does it contain some offensive... Well, potentially. potentially. Not, well, it's a grey area. It's a grey area. Gray area. Right. Especially in this country. Especially, That's especially, I'll especially say. in this country. Especially, especially in this, this country. year. Especially this year. Yeah, <laughs> fuck, <it's> right. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. If you're listening to this the day after Saturday, you better understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rough one. Yes. But what was? But I, I never so didn't tell fucking it. brilliant. It's, you couldn't tell it. You, 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 you well, could, you can tell it. It's weird. It was. That's the first time. I, that's the second time I've told it. Yeah. That joke. When you told me that joke, when you thought about it in uh-huh. in the city that we're talking about. Yeah. And I was like, please don't do that joke. I <laughs> I came up with that joke in the city. Uh huh. And said it to, the, to Peter Davison, who was running brickwork, and he went, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it, it was yeah. just, it was, it was good to be able to go, this is a really offensive joke, have the audience go, oh, and as they were going, oh, I went, uh, fuck you, you just clapped for the sash, yes, you don't right. get to fucking pick and choose. And then it, the he o, actually the said, because I was into an ah, uh, into a laugh, yeah. into a really long applause break. Yeah. And I was like, I love dailies. <laughs> Whenever you said it, you were like, that baldy cunt was up here <laughs> yeah. singing, making you sing DUP, and you just get annoyed at that, you just hypocritical cunt. And then the big round of applause was deadly. But I think only, I think dailies does have that special vibe that only they would let you. Not, not, not let you away with, but yeah. they know that you don't mean it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of trust in dailies because they're like the likes of you and, and Shane and Connor. People have built up relationships with like the crowds there. Yeah. So there's that, what do you call it? That sort of familiarity they know yeah. and they trust you. Like, I so. think as well as the fact that I am, I am, you know, pre-warning them. Yeah. This is the worst joke I've ever written. And you probably, I, if, if I was to critique it, uh-huh, Mike, uh-huh, uh-huh. I would have held off for about three, four more seconds before you said, fuck off, he's got, you know what I mean? You were straight in with it. You it's because cool, the news going to happen. Yeah. It's cool. I was standing at <laughs> the back of the room and Ian Thompson was doing his bit. I was all, I'm doing that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, I'm doing it. And I, it. I didn't go, I wasn't thinking it's going to go well, but I was thinking something's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Make uh, it Chris rocked here, but either way. It, was, <laughs> yeah, it was fucking brilliant. And it, it's one of those things uh, in dailies where uh, there is that sort of, Man, I was so so good. This how this how good, this how good you know. know this how good you know what is is when you book an act because I do the bookings now, and you book an act and you say to them thirty minutes is what I need for you to close, and they do fifty five. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, like for us, it's fucking brilliant because I I I I don't mean thirty and you need to get off. It's like you don't mind doing thirty for us. Aye. You know that sort of way, and then they go and do fifty five. You're like, oh, this is fucking value for money. Whatever. It was uh, the, the worst part about it. Is it's fifty five, which if you're any good at maths, you know that's nearly an hour. So my brain's <laughs> like, take a rest of your off. What a fun story. Yeah, some of the new stuff's brilliant as well. There's some, really there's good. some legs in it. Like, some really there's, good uh, stuff, like, yeah. there's some stuff in there where, like, where I'm like, um, so maybe this is we add for the waterfront. Go to waterfront.co.uk yeah. to get tickets for the second December. Well, um, if you're a patron and you haven't got tickets yet, I don't know what's going I on. Mean, if you're I on the freebies, I, I understand know. people just, you know what I mean? Maybe you're just waiting for later in the year, another pay there or something, with your holidays are paid for. <laughs> but it would be nice to sell it out and then do another one. <laughs> and then I can get that Audi and stop annoying Stop us. fucking saying that because you're going to jinx yourself. 
I'm just saying, if you want to hear, stop me talking about wanting to buy an Audi, give me enough money to buy a fucking Audi. Well, that's true. You know I mean? I would, I would Maybe it. the odd month you don't take your Patreon money. Maybe and I get to... No, man, you've got a job. <laughs> Not that you take any money anyway because you don't because you've got a job. It's a fucking... There's no money. What are you talking about? We I don't... Mean, look at my face. How much do I care about that Audi? You should care about it when you're going to sp- get some excitement. <laughs> I could be fucking lapping the time. Imagine me and you fucking lapping, lurking with joint them. They see us rolling. Rolling. We hate him. Smiling, singing, and painting, doing the riding dirty. Going to be riding dirty. Going to be riding dirty. Riding dirty. Uh, Would you ever go lapping? See the fucking, I seen a great thing in Fermanagh the other day, driving around. Oh, was a woman with a job? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's usually. Do you remember those? I told you a few months ago about seeing. Uh, you know the boys with the, the they print something like a, a statement on the back of the window of their car, uh, like hauling grass and tapping ass. Aye, uh, and this remember the one about uh, uh, live to party hard, smell, spell, uh, spend money like a retard. Remember that one, <laughs> right? I know. And the worst thing what, is somebody. What, what's that mean? On sweets? Right, what do you hear? So somebody has. A, I, I, dro- I was driving behind this car one time and I'm looking at that going, you fucking dickhead. You actually put the word retard on your back window. Aye. And then uh, I realized it wasn't. Uh, the, the word, the full word was there. Mm-hmm. So they must have got pulled over for it or somebody had said something to uh-huh. So they took off the, the RE. Right. So. That's party hard, hard. Smell, spend money, got hard. You know, I mean? like it's still the same fucking thing. And also, just get rid of the money bit as well. Yeah. Party hard, spend like a tard is doesn't, catchier. Yeah, yeah, doesn't make a thing. Rose off. Yeah. And then, but anyway, I seen one. I, I seen one. Said, well, listen, you need to cut the fat off this joke. No, I seen one yesterday that was fuck our, what day is it? Sunday. On our Sunday drive. And this boy it must be from Fermanagh, I don't know. And it was part time farmer, full time charmer. That's good. No, that's good. That's a Richie Rebo type of fun fucking. That's fun what I was saying, I, yeah. I thought. I was like, is, is that a Richie fucking lyric right. from something? That's the kind of guy who pulls a, a girl's neck and goes, it smells like wet grass. I'll try like to see that. That's some shock there, oh, boys. Jesus, I'm telling you. I'll take you up the back field. <laughs> now we'll go for a walk. Uh, 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 uh. I um, part, uh, full time, or part, a part time farmer, full time charmer. And I was like, you are. I I want to meet you. You kind of want to go, John? Going to be burgers? Well, I actually want to meet him. Go and let's see how charming you are. Aye. What if he was dead charming? If he was dead, what German, if you were like, well, what then I would the say, fuck? Well, do you know you're the spit of Brad Pitt? <laughs> like people have time with that now. Do you like? If he was actually charming, I'd be going play that field because we've, we've proved, we've proved right. the charming part. <laughs> Let's prove the farming part. Aye. Oh, I suppose yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't do far. I couldn't be a farmer. No, not a chance. I don't know. Farmers love farming. Yeah. I've never met a farmer who's like, fuck, I'm gonna get up here and like they, they're all up to fuck ever. Yep, go. Oh, I yeah. half, half four. Aye. In the fucking morning, they're oh, yeah. oh, okay. doing that gig. You used to be gigging Castle Dirt. You would do to farmers who were getting up to the lamb, so they would drink all night, right. do the lamb in the morning, <laughs> and then sleep all day. Where was that gig? The, it's the gig, the only gig in Castle Dirt, the townhouse. Oh, really? Okay. So that sounds like I'm trying to promote it. <laughs> the only gig in Castle Dirt, Castle Dirt, Castle Dirt. The townhouse. Castle Dirt, Castle Dirt. Never, is it the Young Farmers Association? Is that what you were. No, no? I've been told the Young Farmers Association is, uh, is essentially a cover. For a load of children fingering each other. Ah. Young farmers, you pay, a lot of the parents go away, you don't the young farmers there, and they think oh. it's all sort of, and it's the lady's choice, and, da, 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 and it's not, it's just, oh, fuck, sir, right. Eh? <laughs> Jesus, David, your hands off a rough hours working all day. <laughs> but you're 11, I know why. <laughs> Is that a rag deal? No, it's at all. So I'm holding ah. the pitchfork. I would imagine they'd be good at it. Fingering? Aye. I, I imagine they'll Don't forget. It. No, I imagine... Listen, I, I these, imagine are, these are boys elbow deep in calves. That's what I'm saying. They'll, they'll get carried away and try and pull something out. Well, you never know what you find in there. You think you're fucking <laughs> having a good, good time getting fingered by a young farmer and he puts his foot in your chest? You're like, oh, fuck, here we go. <laughs> We're getting a hysterectomy here. Maybe the two Hysterectomy, like fuck- hysterectomy here. <laughs> like a fucking lucky bag. Pull out a wee fucking ring or something. <laughs> you never know what you find in there. It's not very many podcasts you hear lucky bags being brought up. Hey, but on this one, hey, <laughs> nothing but pure retro, pure retro. <laughs> hey, you mind dip dabs, do you? Huh? You got a stick of licorice and a bit of sherbet. Oh, Jesus, them was the taste. There was when your sweets were dry. There was nothing better than a sweet that tasted like fucking dust. Nothing better than lucky bag boys. Oh, Jesus, I didn't like. No, did you? I, I never. I very, I very this, rarely got. Lucky. I was. I was trying. To, I was trying to think. So of a lucky bag for me is just a bag with a scratch card. <laughs> I was trying to think of all the things uh, that were quite retro that I never thought about. Did you call, like, you know the long, thin, frozen things? Ice pops. Ice pops, right. Oh, you yeah. call them ice poles. 
I've heard that too. So ice pops in Lurgan, yeah. is it? Ice pops everywhere. Very American. It's ice pops everywhere no, apart from why do you call them ice pole? It's not even a pole shaped. They're kind of a they're not circular. shape of a pole. They're not the shape. A pole would be a circular thing to me. Would be a cylinder, but an ice pop. They they kind of come off in a wee sword like shaped almost. What would you call it? Like a rhombus, a rhomboid, a rhomboid maybe. But again, they're still a pole. Well, ex- sorry, sorry. Explain to me then how it's a fucking pop. Because when you you because you're like oh it's popping. <laughs> That's why you your fucking. Oh, it's if, if, no, because if they're not, if if you don't freeze them, they're filled with pop. What? It's just it's just, it's just still juice, which is pop, fizzy pop, fizzy pop, fizzy, is fizzy pop, juice. not fizzy anymore. Yeah, no, fizzy okay. pop is is fizzy juice. Yeah. So pop by process of elimination would of course just be juice, and mm-hmm. then when you freeze said pop, mm-hmm. it becomes ice pop. Now a fizzy ice pop. I don't think you want to mess oh. that witchcraft. They're called they're called tango ice blasts. Uh, uh, you, uh, you, you, you know what that's what it is. I know why. I didn't know. But that. I'm just saying you, but you wouldn't put that. You, but you wouldn't put that. You wouldn't put that in a fucking in a, in a, a small space. You make a pipe bomb. That's what we exploded all over the place. You'd fuck me. That's how the troubles would start off again. <laughs> It'd be a documentary forty years from now. Oh, hey, I was going down the fucking road in Chantal. I took out a fucking fizzy ice pop. All of a sudden, three products died and all kicked off again. Like. I couldn't fucking believe it. I fucking didn't fucking know what they do for you. Fucking <laughs> fuck a bubblegum flavor. What the fuck? I was a fucking nightmare. What was your favorite flavor? Of ice pop. Ice pop. Ice pop. Cola. What is it cola? Yeah, the bunny, I like the cola. The, the bunny or rubble. Uh, I like the blue yeah. ones too. The bubblegum ones. Yeah, the blue ones. Mm. Bubblegum? Yeah. They were blueberry flavored. I never had a bubblegum ice, ice pop. You did. You I just didn't, didn't know they were blueberry. I didn't. Blue. They were fucking blueberry flavored. They it said on the fucking packet. I would often read them. <laughs> it's not a blueberry Are we talking flavor? about the Mr. Freeze one? Are we talking about like the Flintstones ones that everybody had? Remember the Flintstones ones? Everybody Flintstones. See, you're, see there's a, there's a pops. what is there a five year gap between us? So there's that five year gap because I like it was bubblegum. No, we I don't remember ever having the bubblegum flavored one. No, in there's fairness, nobody has ever produced a blueberry flavored anything apart from a fucking muffin. Right. Give me the tell you something, Connor. Go on. <laughs> Wait, sorry, listeners. I'm just getting my phone. It's not, well, it's definitely not a blueberry ice pop, am I? Or ice pop? Ice pop. <laughs> ice pop. Ice pop. Let us know. Send us in a wee message. Let us know what do they call them in your area. Oh no! Hold on. You're going for a certain brand. Blue. I want Mister Freeze. Mister Freeze. Ice only. pop. Yep. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Now, Mister Freeze was there. That was a fucking. If you get a Mister Freeze ice pop, you were a good boy that day. I very rarely, very, very rarely would ever go near get the Mister Freeze ice pops because my mum would buy them in bulk, keep them in the bulk, house. Yeah, we and I would go, Mum, can I have an ice pop in the shop? And she'd be all, No, she's just pop uh, in the house. Uh, and you'd be like, Well, Mummy, I'm roasting. And she'd be all, Fucking shut the fuck up. My mum learned not to buy the ones out of the shop because I can't find it, but I'm telling you, we never let them freeze. You drank them pop? They were drank yeah. pop. Yeah, that's pop. Yeah, we popped them out. Do you know what I mean? Let us know. Maybe this is one of those things between the scundered and. Scumbag. Yeah. And let us is know what they're called. Like if you're if you're in America, they're called ice poles. Uh, if you're in you know sort of if you're in France, where they're called ice poles, L- ice you, pop. Yeah, or the ice pop. Um, <laughs> were they called ice pops in Poland, or were they called pop 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 land and ice pole? Do you know what I mean? Who knows? I don't really know. I'm wee bit hyper today. I had, hmm. a, I had a smoothie for breakfast, multiple eight numbers. Was it a blueberry one? A blueberry smoothie. There was blueberry in actually, yeah. Pie. Because that's what you fucking do. Oh, isn't you don't fucking from... bubblegum in it, do they? No. You don't have a bubblegum you flavored pop... smoothie. You fucking bu- stick to your heart, you die. Exactly, because you would have a blue bubblegum flavored ice pole what? for the kids. Was it bubblegum flavored? Like, as in bubblegum? Was in like bubblegum? Like, that's not fucking, fucking weird. spearmint. I mean, like, fucking it's like bubblegum. What in... flavor bubblegum? Hubba Bubba flavor strawberry bubblegum? Blue flavored. <laughs> blue flavored bubblegum? Blue flavored right, bubblegum. Blueberry flavored then? Uh, it's not blueberries. Fucking. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to really fuck your mind up now. It's probably raspberry. It probably was blue raspberry, actually. Yeah, blue raspberry. We'll agree to disagree. Then. <laughs> yeah, another fucking hard hitting episode <laughs> of the Jack Turner Young podcast. We always two take fucking on. grown men nearly came to blows about the, the flavor of fucking ice pops. We always what flavor Soleros? No, the important ones. Mango, I think. Mango somewhere. and something. Isn't it? Mango, mango and something. something. Mango and something. I love a wee Slurro one. Actually, like a wee Slurro oh, one. Wee mini ones are good. I like the one bite job. Push. I straight away. Do you know what? Brain freeze. I don't like wee mini twisters I feel like her when I'm eating them I, I, I feel like I, awful slut I feel like I feel, I'm, like I feel like I can get the whole thing in my mouth and I go do you know what I'm, I, and I also tell you this much Connor but they're good for getting listen, that like at might, the bottom you might, uh, you might not like the idea of this right uh-huh. you might not like the idea of me like bringing up a conspiracy theory okay, right. on this podcast but I think twisters have got smaller Or I've got bigger. Mm, which one's more likely? Well, considering I hold them in my hands, and my hands have never grown. It 
could just be could be, it could just be yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just changed the recipe I think when it went from HP to Walls remember it used to be HP Walls yeah. and then they split ah. like a splinter group type of situation don't and HP started making the sauce don't start no, it was HP it was HP HP, HP. Who do you make the sauce they make higher purchase sauce yeah and also Hewitt and Packard computers yes yes they all, it's all in one factory How bottles class? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, the, the, the Cadbury's is the same problem. I had the fucking lights at the same time. Shit. Ooh, I doubled up. Cadbury's the same problem. Remember when oh, Kraft we bought them? I fucking hell and started making another shite chocolate, oh, sir. The and shot, then the shot all the open loopers as well. No, we. a mass grave full of orange bastards. Bastards. And not the one poured down from, from the 1700s. <laughs> yeah, the 1700s. Of course not. In the 1700s, there's only one mass grave poured down. Like. <laughs> Jesus wept. So he did. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> did he? I don't know. Cried his fucking no, eyes out. We can't. Poor Jesus. Poor Jesus. Oh, he's near coming back soon, too. Oh, I'd say so. Oh. About Jesus. time. His boss no, I just mean it's near Easter. <laughs> his boss will be pulling in now. Oh, this is fucking something. Judas will need his eggs. <laughs> That's a long game of bingo, boy. What? <laughs> That's where he's been. Playing bingo. Playing bingo. Jeez, he's been playing bad, not oh, with him. He, he what the fuck are you, Daddy? He just dabs it with his hand. You're a dick. <laughs> boop, boop. Do you know what I was thinking? Do you know whether there was that whole carry on of people looking through their hand and people saying it was satanic? satanic? It's, I mean, it's very Jesus-y, isn't it? It's very Jesus-y. Yeah. About it? I'm going, yeah! Do you know the way when yeah. you know were younger you did that there? I wonder if he just did that. I 100% him. Definitely. <laughs> Oh, we're going to hell. I seen him one well, time. He was, he was on his bike. Mm -hmm. And he was trying to show uh, other vehicle users that he was pulling into the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. And he put his hand on it and went... <laughs> <laughs> That's to let the blind people know I'm turning. Oh, <laughs> turning water into wine? <laughs> I was actually listening to a very interesting those conspiracy Guys podcast today about the pyramids of... Uh, oh, yes. Uh -huh. Fentanyl. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's a look at them. Made out of dung. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, and they, they were talking about sort of the ancient Egyptian religions and how they're quite, you know, you know how a lot of religions are all sort of of the same. Up the Ra? Same sort of storyline. Aren't they? Uh, yes, it's Ra was indeed. Ra yes, of course. Was, yeah, and uh, Isis uh, was a Isis god. Isis was a god not, as well, not, yeah. Not just a uh, power mm -hmm. group. Uh, Why? No, I, I never thought of it. I never linked them two together, so. Isis and. The Ra? The Ra? You never linked them together. You, probably, you wouldn't be able either. No. I mean the gods. I mean Isis and Ra. Aye. Never really linked them together. Yeah, very good. So, uh, up to much else then? No, or? no, no. Anyway, pyramids. Aye, no, it's a very interesting podcast. But uh, is it true that there's something like that every measurement? There's something weird about, it, isn't it? The way they're measured out. Or there's something a lot of stuff so they went into where because Gordo's podcast obviously it's like it's, it's you know could be three and a half four hours yeah, long. And there's times you listen to it over two or three days. But there was one point, there was something that they measured it, and it was the exact same. Yeah, there's something weird. They the got speed, is li speed of light. Speed of light, that's what it is. There's and something the, that knew the that it matched that they, up. What's insane about it is they go, the speed of light was only discovered relatively recently, and these things were fucking built in whatever BC. Mm -hmm. uh, Do they match up to Orion's belt as well? There's something to do with that. Mm -hmm. And there was something about... Uh, I think it's kind of like Newgrange as well. Whenever the sun hits a certain area, it would fill mm -hmm. an entire sort of chamber. Yeah. And the, the blocks are so tightly put together, they can't even get a razor in between the blocks, but there's no mortar or anything that holds the, <sighs> the stones, and they go, how the fuck? Have that? Now, I have a cousin who went to Egypt and went to the pyramids and is convinced the aliens built them because he goes, he, he, he was like, he worked in construction, yeah. and he goes, I can tell you fucking now, there isn't a modern tool that can cut something that smooth. There's a lot of lasers. Now, there was same a lot of cousin did tell me that Queen Elizabeth can uh, lick flies out of the air. This oh, guy. Sorry, oh, right, well, well, well. So I believe him. Oh. <laughs> there, there is something about the pyramids being a, like a. Isn't it like an. Is it a diamond? Yeah, there was, heard, there's something about that. I remember I, watching I, Eddie Griffin. Eddie Griffin didn't stand up and he does a whole segment on the pyramids and the, uh, how they all came about, whatever. And he yeah. said something about the stuff diamond. The, the Sphinx, isn't it? The Sphinx, there's a tomb under one of the Sphinx's feet. Right, okay. Didn't know it. Uh, and they that's, are where, the, that's where, they, I, where the did Sphinx I, is where Michael Jackson got the idea for the nose job. Uh, yeah, that's where he looks. It does look mm -hmm. like him. Where did I get the... Is Giza the name of the place? No? No, Giza is four gases. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a, it's a collection of gases. It's, it's what London people call a man. Yes, it's, a, it's also <laughs> that. Or they're, they're those who identify there as. Oh, yeah, of course, obviously. Yeah. Um, it's also how you ask for a look at something. Easy look, yeah. Aye. That's why I done that joke earlier. Oh, did you? I was yeah, mad. I know, and you never do. Uh, it's uh, also how you ask for a drink or something. Right. Give us a drink of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Give us a uh, hand. You know, all, all them things, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. also very true. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is a lot of talk about those, because uh, apparently the, the pyramids were built. Because if you ask anybody, like, how were they built? Well, they were like, oh, slaves. And you're like, okay. A, a lot of slaves would have died. Mm-hmm. And, and they like, were, are they? Yeah. No, no, well, they probably were buried. But w- w- if you had a choice, mm-hmm. then, as being the slave mm-hmm. of, you've seen 40 of your mates die at this thing, uh-huh. w- you'd not go. And then just be killed where you're standing. Aye. It was better than being crushed by a fucking rock. Maybe you're just sort of... Because you know them big wooden cranes they were using? Aye. To carry them big massive, like... Oh, I didn't even get... I didn't hear that. The, the wooden cranes with the ropes and pulleys and stuff. Is this from Stargate are we talking about here? Like, um, I, don't, I don't know much about that, but... Well, that's, what, that's the diagrams, because that's, that's, that's how it's explained, how were Aye. they built. They had to be ropes Do you think they could pulleys? have potentially just made a massive sandcastle and then... Chiseled it away? And just chiseled it away? Maybe. It's only I can explain. Uh, it's the measurements inside that really gets me. That's what she said. Because because the measurements are, f- is it 45 meters or something? There's something that it matches every single... Yeah, like they, they, mathematically. Really mathematically, like it's, it's yeah. pure, pure geometry. Like it's really... You know, I, I thought people back then wouldn't have been... But you never know. Because I've heard other things as well, isn't there? Um, I'm thinking it was on the same podcast, or was it, but... There's I just watched Stargate a, a lot of, of did it? for the first time ever. Just not bad, isn't it? Like last week, yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's aged. It's aged, but, but yeah. But um, but there was sorry. something about how the there has been sort of some people argued against the idea that it wasn't slaves, that in fact they were actually paid workers, and that, that everybody was involved in this big sort of tribute to whatever they were working. Again, it's easy well, to say those stories, but yeah, think of know. just the reality of how the oh, man, fuck... I have no idea. I remember watching the documentary, or like, I think it was, what do you call it, Baldrick, Tony Robinson? Tony Robinson, yeah. Uh, not to be confused with Tommy Robinson. Did no. that one with him for fucking... <sighs> what about we, Tommy? Did you see him? I didn't. I'm telling the story. Oh, right, sorry. Um, but they tried, to, they tried to reenact the building of Stonehenge uh-huh. and tried to figure out how they would do it and then tried to do it with modern technology and went, we still can't fucking do it. <laughs> I know. That's the thing. Channel Four budget, so maybe <coughs> just they cut it out halfway through. Even if you had, had a black one to pay for, even Bump. if you had two hundred people lifting at the same time, you still couldn't do it. Well, they couldn't. Yeah, yeah. And even the, so, then people go, "Well, more people." I was like, "But well, where would they have grabbed it?" You know, think about the logistics Aye. of how do you exit. You know, yeah. So, somebody. If you've ever tried to lift a wardrobe with two people, you know it takes a lot of fucking management. <laughs> yeah. I text like, "Did they? Fuck shit! Mind the couch. Yeah. Ball back." And here's the thing that really gets me is, so we, we, whenever you challenge somebody and then go, well, couldn't it be made by slaves? Because, you know, at some point, this is the thing, our sort of uh, bias comes into it where you go, well, they were so stupid, that's why they did it. Uh-huh. You're like, yeah, so all of a sudden we've got thousands of stupid people and then really, really smart people that understand geometry the whole way through. I mean, it's not that... Inconceivable. To it's not inconceivable. You know, like four lads have been on the moon. I haven't, but I mean, yeah, but, it, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, at some point, somebody within the slave trade will go, Hold on a minute. <laughs> Brendy went over there last week and he didn't come back. I don't know. But I mean, and after a while, I you mean, think maybe somebody are dying. Connor, you're thinking, sort of, you know, you think five to seven thousand years later, however many thousands of years later mm. it is, and there's still people like me, you, and everybody else going to work and paying off a house until the day. What I'm getting and at then is, can I have my pension saved up for? And then your, your work's all we spent it, uh, and then you're all fuck. Anyway, uh, I'll go back into the house anyway. Fucking. Fuck me. Tell, at least not a slave in Egypt. <laughs> tell, tell you what, you wouldn't catch me fucking working for somebody else for something that did nothing for me. I'll tell you that much. I fucking... How many people do you know go and see once he retired? That was him down Hill. Sure, he died shortly after it. Because they said, don't they say, won't you stop your drop? I said, I don't stop your drop. Uh, thank God we learned a lesson from that one anyway, Connor. That's true, that's true. Anyway, spend your hard-earned money on my Patreon. <laughs> I want to buy it already. <laughs> you fucking slave, you... It's anyway. interesting though, because there's one, is, just, there, yeah, is there a pyramid, is it one of the Mayan pyramids or something like that, or if you clap at the foot of the steps, it makes a weird noise. Right, didn't know Have you that. seen that, like it, it, it sounds like a pew, like yeah. a, the I know, there, I know there were some stuff with inside the pyramids that, as you said earlier on, it was like so precisely cut, it had to be laser cutters. Uh, circuitry. Yeah, circuitry. Uh, that's what them, isn't it? There's no, there's no way that An- they... Anosophagus. A what? Anosophagus. What about esophagus? Is it 
What do you call that thing they put the mummies in? Is it for falafel stand? Yeah, falafel stand. Because it's covered. Yeah. Yeah. Keep talking about uh, it. I'm trying to think of the word that you're trying to think of. The sarcophagus has been funny. I know, but what is the word? The big Oh, you, the word of the other. Uh, the, the there is a word. When I said Sir uh, uh, I uh, yeah, I know. What you, yeah, yeah, I can't oh, fuck fucking. It's gonna annoy my I fucking head now. You know what the word? I knew it enough to make fun of it. Now I forgot it. Ah, oh, fuck <laughs> you! That's so gonna annoy me, my you. fucking head. Oh, I had all of them. You had all of them. Oh my sweet lord! Yeah. Fuck me! I'm hands are getting better. Your hands are good. Oh, getting bigger too. My hands are just grew. I've been waiting since I was fourteen. How long to check my text? <laughs> so, uh, which is more realistic, aliens or giants? Oh, as in uh, who built the pyramids? Mm-hmm. Uh, or the third option, which is something I have seen years ago, was that it was uh, a modern, uh, very advanced society uh-huh. that was wiped out. I see. That's what, like that's the one I. The whole Atlanta Lumeria yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. Because or Atlantis, sorry, as you say. The, uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. I was like, no, I think it's still there. I'm in Georgia. <laughs> it's not a hot outside. <laughs> Thank God we built those pyramids. Oh, I do declare. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some sweet tea? I'm just building a pyramid. Governor of Atlanta, <laughs> what you gonna do about your sleeves? <laughs> Well, those boys are free to come and go when they please. As <laughs> soon as they build my fucking pyramid. You gotta get my pyramids on, motherfucker. Uh, I did see, yeah, there was, what was this? It might have been like Ancient Aliens or one of those weird documentaries, mm. but there was one of those uh, theories that I went, that's quite interesting, in that there was a theory that, so Neanderthal man, which is the one we've come descended from, mm-hmm. right? There was a theory, that, and you can see it, I think, in some evolutionary things, right. where there was another type of human who had evolved from the ape, Right, mm-hmm. but just sped it like evolved a wee bit quicker. Right, but the ones we came from didn't evolve as quick, but fucked like rabbits. Right, so all of a sudden there was just loads of these fucking. What the fuck are you doing there? <laughs> and all these smart cunts being like, no, 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 please, please. please. <laughs> we, we know the fire thing. Well done, well done on the fire and the wheel. But have you tried the bow and arrow, for example? And they were all fucking witch, and killed the fu- killed them. And set us back about two, three thousand years. This is, the, this is the thing, right? This they is were all there with golden Joe bags and fucking. Yeah, do you want to have a golden iPod? <laughs> <laughs> this is what really fucks my head. Is like, this is thousands of years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're only. And that's, we're only thirty. I'm only thirty-five. So that's <laughs> no. That's above my pay grade, Connor. As as humans, I mean, we've only developed the the skills and stuff last fifteen hundred years, two thousand. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Those I mean, is a fucking like these are this is before you people, well, people have only a flush and fucking toilet. My dad's never sent an email. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just gonna think there's mine. Never. <laughs> I've never thought of that yeah. before. <laughs> In fact, if you say email to my dad, he thinks you've mispronounced a derogatory term for a trans person. <laughs> fucking she mailed to him. <laughs> Yeah, it's, just, it's funny how the word works, Connor. You know what I mean? My grandfather, for example, oh. never had a Red Bull. No. No, couldn't bad heart, see. They were about, mm-hmm. they were around, like he just, he, he was in China. Yeah. Well, I had this conversation, I, I had uh, this conversation with my grandmother before she passed. She had never had a KFC. Fucking hell. I won in the town, never. I won the town. Don't tell you found it, don't tell you found it recently. My granny was heavily involved in human trafficking. Oh, nope. she was a lollipop lady. <laughs> <laughs> Ulster Hall, 2nd December. Waterfall Hall. <laughs> he doesn't even know what he's fucking I'm, playing. I'm, I'm not good at comedian. I, I, just, I just turn up and start. No, no, no. He was loving his own joke so much he forgot where he's fucking playing. He was in the middle of the I wrote that joke two and a half years ago. never told it. That's been, that's been in there. That's been in the fucking file, cabinet. Oh, we've got to build on that now. Uh, what was going to say to you there about the pair? It's, it's, it, there's a lot of things that are very interesting. Uh, did I talk about this the other week? I was chatting to our good friend Andy McGibbon. Sure, Danny. So, Andy. And he went on a history tour of Lurgan. Mm-hmm. And this is going to alienate a lot of people now, depending on our uh, religious dem- demographic. But he went on a history tour and they were talking about like Lurgan up until like sort of 1920 something, mm-hmm. off, like with partition and such. Mm-hmm. And Andy was like, What was in Lurgan before? Northern Ireland was formed and the historian went oh fuck I don't know <laughs> and you kind of go that's insane that yeah and there's I think a, a lot there of must people, be some history of yeah but I think a lot of people are essentially saying do you know whenever you hear unionists going like you're eroding our culture a yeah. lot of nationalists go how's it feel 
<laughs> no, I don't like that because I don't consider myself a nationalist or unionist. I'm f- fucking. There must be some historians in Lurgan. Well, there was there, there was some stuff about the name of it. So Andy was telling me that a lot of t- like town names in Northern Ireland are the English versions of of Irish of Irish. Yeah, which is why they don't make any sense. So like yeah. Hilltown, for example, is flat. Yeah, and we think they got. And there was something about Lur. And like and Lorgan, which is the Irish for Lorgan, it's something to do with like it's a ridge or something. Probably, and I yeah. think it's like McCann's Ridge. Yeah. Or, and if you look at the the uh, geography of Lorgan, it's very ridgy. Oh, do you know? It's like Tyrone is Tyrone. Uh huh. Land of Owen. Aye. Aye. So there's names all come about somewhere yeah, online, yeah. but our ma, my ma, your ma, which yeah. is Irish for what's for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> what is our man Irish? Ard, Ard Ard Waha. Waha. Ard, yeah. Ard Waha. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know what it means. Ard is big anyway. Oh no, maybe not. How long? How long? It's a big Waha. How long? That would make sense. Any big Waha. Maybe Ard. It's just a big fucking Waha. Waha. Ard is rock. Maybe no. Let me Google it. Ard Moor. I know there's an Ard no, just checked. I know there's an Ard Moor in Oma, and I think it's something to do like big rock or something. No, big is more. Yeah. Red Moor. Okay, so Ard must be rock or something. In, in so what is the Irish and Lurgan? On and Lorgan. On Lorgan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which is just the way you pronounce Lurgan. Yeah. Lorgan. Because up there are. Uh, I don't mean that. Obviously down there. Now right. all th- of three boys from Lurgan now trying to figure what out what it is. Read them Height. Uh, high. Okay. Height of Macha. So, so a big. Ard High. Uh, oh, Ard Moor. That wouldn't make sense. What high the up fuck's Macha? Macha then? What, what, where, what? Don't know. What's a Macha? We. <laughs> Well, I was just just doing the job with them. Well, very well paid. Well, so by the time we get the laptop back, it's we fucking we need to. Nah, because these two are slow as fuck. <laughs> Not applicable. They are ready. No, okay, no. No. just just a main just a fuck big call. Pile of water. <laughs> water, maybe it's because near Loch Ness. <laughs> what the hell, buddy? What is it beside the water? It's over there, to, to beside the water. And so this historian said... You take a drink, you will. The historian said there's nothing before 1920s. Well, there is. She just didn't know. Didn't know. Yeah. But, uh, but I know there was definitely... Like, my grandma was born in... 1918, yeah, so he's definitely, was definitely Lurgan. there because yeah. my poor wee grandmother was in the workhouse. And it would have been called Lurgan for number like hundreds of years, like it's not a new name, yeah, 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 like, oh, okay. yeah. Because I know that there was well, no, there's definitely stories of like fucking because Craig pe- Avon pe- is pe- named after and stuff like that. Is Craig Avon not named I think after what I'm saying is sorry, the, 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 it was this one bit of Lurgan, all oh, right, okay, so right, sorry, okay. Because right. I know there's records that go back to like the Lurgan yeah. hospital used to be the workhouse, right, okay, and the whole Lurgan's being thing that was pre. But is Craig Avon, Craig Avon's a new town, Craig Avon was really found in the 70s, aye, ah, after Lord Craig Avon, is yeah. it? Yeah, okay, right, yeah, Lord, and yeah, because yeah. Brownlow House is was where Lord Craig Avon, right, Lord Lurgan, was it Lord Lurgan? I was really yes, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> It is I. <laughs> I have come back to reclaim my land. <laughs> well, you, shing. Allegedly. I'm at you. <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, allegedly. I should meet you upon the hostings, whatever that is. <laughs> hostings? Aye. Oh. Like a political debate? Yeah, but, the, but but that comes from a word that means a mound or I something like that. I don't believe you. Think I, Sermon uh, on the Mount sort of stuff. See if I'm fucking ready with that. I swear to God, I'm going to pull my dick. This is going to be my fuck off moment. Is, it's, it's something about the hustings is where they would have these debates, but it would be on a Get Mickey Bartlett. James, hurry up the fuck. We need to find this out. If, I, that if I'm right, I swear to God, I'm going to fucking... Oh. Oh. No, doesn't mean that. Ah, uh, okay. Where the fuck did I get that from, man? <laughs> I was so excited there. I was going, Mickey's got me in a what the fuck moment. And it didn't happen. So I'm Hastings is something else. Hastings is on the hunt. Or hunting. Uh, no. Anyway. Oh, oh well. What, what would be another word for a mound you would have a wee jewel on? Have a jewel? Like or a, a jewel? Or, um, it would be, I don't know, a, a grassy... Just 1945 Jews common mounds, rather? A grassy knoll. A knoll? No, <laughs> I've never seen a knoll apart from my mate knoll. I've never seen like a, a the talk about in the JFK assassination. I've never seen what a grassy knoll is. Oh, like a K N O W L. Ah, I don't a know a canal, a canal, a grassy knoll. Here's a question. Go on ahead then. Do you know when people say, uh, and he went to the bathroom as is his? Yes, want. Right, is uh-huh. it want or won't? James, bring it up right from here. Because I think it's won't. I think it's won't, Which and then make we any fucking sense. No, and then we converted it to want because it made more sense. sense. They want, yeah. But I think it is, won't. That's... Can we tell you something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that says it won't. Yeah, What's I knew it was something. I don't know. It's not, well, not, annoying. It's not a what? It's not, well, not. 
Oh, right, I thought you'd make some sort of joke about like if somebody who couldn't pronounce their R's. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what I was trying to do. I was like, if he got there before me. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to meet people upon the hostings as, as uh, is my want. Yes, <laughs> this is your want now. Fucking we want on the fella. There's a we want We there, won't on him. Oh, we won't. That's just somebody that's disobedient. There's he could do it, but there's a we won't on him. <laughs> do your homework. Them. Why? I won't. What? What are you doing today? I'm going to go play football in the hostings. He's got ODD, is that what they call it? Oppositional. I think you have it actually with an ODD. Odd? Yeah, I think, well, I think you're odd, I, but uh, oppositional defiance disorder. No, I don't. You do? <laughs> no, I fucking don't. Well, somebody asked you. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I fell do, flat. Do you want to hear what happened to me today? I was talking to my girlfriend the other day, right? And I went, like, me and you argue quite a bit, right? But I mean, we're dead on. So we don't argue. And I was like, no, but like, no, we argue like the odd times. But no, people like arguments are for people who like who are breaking up and stuff. And we like we don't argue. And I went, but do you argue? And so we don't. And I went, we're arguing now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just ruin the illusion of the perfect relationship with your woman? How fucking stupid are you? She was happy enough believing, oh, we don't argue, and then you had to hammer home the you, point you, I know, you that we bring do. It up, like, yeah. You really don't bring it up. I was like holding the model. If you were actually up. arguing with a woman and then it gets to the point she doesn't know that you're actually arguing yeah. with her, fucking brilliant. It seems like you know an author about arguing with women in your perfect relationship. Did you never argue? Oh, no, no, no. Why? We never argue. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm getting it now. I see. Right. Never argue. Right. So it's called gaslighting, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. I know. <laughs> here's the, I've, here's the, I've been trying to write a bit of material about gaslighting, right? Gaslighting, obviously there's the very bad version of it, right? Yes. But it can ver- you can be very easily accused of gaslighting. And yeah. The, 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 being easily accused of gaslighting is what most men do with their, their other half. Yeah. Especially, I don't know about same-sex relationships, but in, in, in normal relationships. <laughs> <laughs> And good going to heaven, God-fearing relationship. But in a, in a straight relationship, yeah. what a man tends to do is just go, uh-huh, mm-hmm, uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Aye. yeah, uh-huh. And then she takes one more item than he's willing to give away, and he goes, the fuck are you doing that for? She's Aye. like, you're gaslighting me. Yeah. Ah, well. I was driving home the other night. My girlfriend was in my house on her own, listening to my Alexa, and uh-huh. I nearly fucking put the car off the road because I thought life's not worth living. <laughs> I think that maybe says a lot more about you and your oh, relationship. Oh yeah, it absolutely does. Yeah, yeah. And then I got back to my apartment. She was in my car parking space. And I was like, I have nothing on my own. <laughs> I have nothing. I'm paying for all this shit. She's on your fucking can't bed. Can't even She's on your it. sofa. Jesus. And first, I mentioned the house spotless. I was like, oh, fucking right, woman. I <laughs> watch yourself. And gas so the fuck you went out to work and then come home and the house was clean I mean, for you and then you felt work. like a man. I did 15 minutes before Kevin Hart. It's not really work, is it? Like it's a dream. <laughs> I'd like to say as well to Kevin Hart, sorry about the rain, because I took the roof off the limelight so well. Oh, Jesus, well, we'll <laughs> get to that now. Oh, oh, oh. uh, but yes, yeah, so, uh, I don't forget what we're even talking about there. But uh, Gaslighting, oh, yeah. uh, gaslighting, so, uh, Giza, oh, yeah. let's go back, new fucking Stonehenge, oh, yeah. uh, ice poles. Stoned in a hedge would be um, a good one. Oh. What else do I have? Done that before. Uh, do do we here, at least it wasn't a fart. Uh, can write no more air or gas from any orifice, please. Or a fi. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that's funny. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, what well, do you have? You watched Gaslight? Uh, I told you a couple of weeks ago, but. No. What was Gaslight again? Where Gaslighting comes from? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, go watch that. Did you tell me that a few weeks ago? Yeah. I, my memory's getting terrible for podcasts. So I feel like I come on here, empty my head out for two hours a week, and then <laughs> I leave being like, who am I? Gaslight was a play, and then it was made into a Hollywood movie in the 40s or 40s, right. 50s. Uh, Ingrid Bergman's in it, but it's actually quite, yeah, you can see. Do, do people talk to this? Yeah, uh, shame. No, I love you, sweetheart. it's not that yeah. far away. So the whole point of it, what was happening is, do Johnny, you know where what, it comes Johnny, from? why? Why would you come back, Johnny? Well, I gotta go to Walsh, eh? You gotta fight the Jap, <laughs> yeah. No, it wasn't like that, no. Take that, hero, hero. You're, yeah. in, you're in the 30s there. Uh, they progressed yeah. after that. Uh, what did they? Well, yeah, when they got, was they got Street Cardi the 50s? It was uh, late 40s or late 50s. What, late yeah. 40s? Um, I think so. Well, Casablanca was 47. Do you want to hear an interesting we, uh, we, bit of t- we tidbit of knowledge I learned a week or two ago? Go on, huh? Do you know nobody wore T-shirts outside their clothes until uh, Marty Brando? Oh, Brandy? Well, gee, it's never That's whenever they started wearing T-shirts as an, as an outer garment as opposed to an undergarment. Well, there you are, boys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, Marlon, set Well, Marlon, there's Stella! 
Uh, so no, what happened in Gaslight? Uh, do you know why it's called Gaslighting? No. Apart from the play, that's no. why that's where it comes from. So, what was the story? Well, no sp- uh, spoiler alert. I'm going to tell you. But uh, so this woman is married to a man, and she has comes from family with money. Mm-hmm. Somebody died very suddenly, and blah, blah blah. And there's all jewels. And so basically, what has happened is this man has married uh, the woman who is a bit. Obviously nervous about what has previously happened with her. She lost her husband. Uh-huh. Also, this is a new husband. She goes back to this house where she had a left for a long time, and every time the husband says he's going to work, um, she's in the house by herself, and things start happening. And the light of the gas, the gas light that's there, will flicker and dimmer. So it's one of those ones where context has come into play. You have to remember that when you turn the gas on in another room, the gas went down. Yes. So this gaslight would change all the time, and it would think, but there's nobody else in the house. Right. That's what she's led to believe. So it turns out then, and he has been, when he says he's been going to work, he's been going upstairs and making noises and fucking freaking her out in madness. To pretend their husband's a ghost or something? No, she, he's actually looking for money that's allegedly in there. <gasps> right. But she, he, ha, he has constantly led her to believe that she's lost things, uh, that she doesn't know, uh, she's lost a brooch and all that sort of stuff, and it turns out it was him the whole time, but he was upstairs, and every time he would turn the gas on upstairs to look, the gas light would come down. So and she never thought about going up upstairs? No. See, typical women it are mental. <laughs> com- uh, completely boarded off and all that sort of crap. Oh, okay. uh, so I'd fucking like the watch. That's actually it's actually a good show, yeah. Ingrid Bergman's in it from, she was in Casablanca as well, but uh, I had seen the play, I said this a couple of weeks, I'd seen the play, but I'd never seen the film, but uh, then when you watch the film, then I don't know which one came first, but... Very good. Because I never knew why gaslighting. I never knew where that's yeah, yeah, what yeah. the that, That's is. part of the reason why I. Because that's the thing is, I you know, joke about it where same sort of thing. I'd Google, like, why gaslighting? Why yeah, gaslighting? Yeah. And the first thing that came up was three signs that your uh, partner's gaslighting you. Right, okay. And it was, well, it was, it was an article that was directed to women. Right, but okay. the three things that came up was, um, like, talking shit about your friends, criticizing your appearance, and have a general sense of suspiciousness about your whereabouts. And I have a right. joke where I go, men have a name for that. It's called going out with a woman. <laughs> and it splits a room like fuck. Like it's, it's do, you yeah. know, do you know one of those bits where you go, I'm going to split a room on purpose here and try and claw it back? Right. I haven't clawed it back once. <laughs> to be honest with you. It's one of those buzz, buzzword topics now. You just, there's no comeback. But Stay away, Nick. I've fuck. Sat, uh, I'm not ready. Uh, right, so anyway, enough of gaslighting. Let's get on to uh, Saturday evening then. So this weekend, we, we first of all, I mean, we in dailies have had to uh, get the tiler in, you know, to fix the roof there. Now, I don't know if you come with your own public liability insurance for no, the I'm fucking damage you're doing on the roofs, but... Limelight, Saturday right. evening. Right, now here's, so we got, I got down very early, right? Now Shane Todd says to me, do you want to go for dinner? Nando's. Can we Nando's, right? Fucking always Nando's. So He's got his own seat in there. So I had said yes initially, and then when it came to sort of crunch time to go and do the gig, I went, if I eat, I'll be too bloated to be yep. good on seat. I was like, I'm going to have a dinner at four o'clock in the evening. Mm-hmm. So I'm of it in my, my brain's already digested it, I don't have to worry too much. Um, and I was... Weirdly, right? Because I was only doing 10 minutes. Right. So weirdly, I was talking to Shane in the great You were first I, on, were you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm going, do you know what's really weird? I went, I'm, I'm more nervous about sticking to time than I am. Right, yeah. Because I haven't done... Th- When's the last time I did a fucking 10 minutes set? Yeah. Never. Especially you know, the, the night the, before, the, you're supposed to do 30, and 55. Yeah, the yeah, bottom yeah. 10, <laughs> which is 25. <laughs> but it was a rolling joke for a long time, but let's be honest, I would never, I couldn't, I didn't know how to. And that's you being nice, it's usually a Bartlett 5, Aye, 25. But I mean, let's be honest, it, it was never shite. Like. It, no, no, it's never shite, but it's only you that says, oh, it's supposed to be a Bartlett 10. No, no, it was always a Bartlett 5, it's 25. It's, it was, it's, whenever I am really cooking with stand-up, the, there's some sort of fucking demon text over, yeah. and I walk off stage and go, oh, what happened? Yeah. Um, but I was talking to Shane before, and I said this, I, I said it out loud, and then I went, I go, damn, I hold just because I've said that. Ah, you jinxed yourself, what'd you and say? I, I went, you know what the thing is, man, I'm in this fucking weird state, I've been gigging so much at the minute, I'm like, I'm going on stage with a really empty head, like, I'm not thinking of anything, I'm just letting it sort of flow, and Shane was like, yeah, 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 and I was like, you're looking at me like, I can't believe that fucking dickhead just said that, <laughs> and, and I'm looking back at you like, I know why, I, <laughs> shut up, I, yep. I feel a well come for that one. Hi, Who the heck I am? WB Yeats. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I couldn't get new material out of my head. Mm-hmm. And so a part of me went, I just, I went dirty, Trump joke, dirty again. Oh, mighty. And a part, a a part of me was going, this is, this is like a show reel. 
because here's some here's some crowd mm-hmm. work here's some dirty stuff mm-hmm. here's some impressions here's some fucking da 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 and then it turned out Kevin Hart wasn't there none of his people were there nobody from Netflix was there my own fucking manager didn't watch it <laughs> Shane went that was very good <laughs> and everybody laughed <laughs> but I, I already put the show on for the not that I don't love every audience member comes to the no, but I was no, thinking no. about the concert back with the money <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Is there a documentary about psoriasis that needs made? <laughs> you want so ladies and gentlemen, if you want Mickey Bartlett, chin up. if you wanted to be on form, just put a rumour out that somebody from Netflix coming to watch yeah, him. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> in fact, don't. Because what happens is the times when people have gone, oh, well, there's somebody in to see you, I immediately did that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never done well in front of the industry. They right. They're not ready. And this, this was, <laughs> and this was the small room, Limelight as well, wasn't it? Oh, aye. Yeah. So he's, he's doing all them, uh, all his gigs are in the yeah, small the room. Yeah, so I don't know if there's going to be more or if that's the last one or what the crack is. He hasn't um, contacted us about dailies yet, but I don't know if we'll let him in. Well, it's a weird thing where, like, you, you would, because it's the same set. Now, obviously, he's practicing, he's practicing for, for a show, big, yeah. big show. Um, I'm trying to see. Uh, he got heckled, though. Uh, don't, don't really want me. So I'm sorry, there's a guy in the back of the room and he heckled twice. <sighs> and when he got told off, he was going, what it do? Fuck. And I was, it was the kind of thing where you're going, you don't go to these. No. You, you've, yeah. you've never been to one. Yeah. And then apparently there was a man outside who was offering a thousand pound to get a ticket to go in. And me and Shane were laughing about it because essentially, you know, people who were angry about not getting to the Kevin Hart gig were angry because they couldn't get a photo With for Kevin their Hart. social media to say they'd been to one. And I was like, that poor fucker was willing to pay a grand only to get into the room and be told if you take a photo you can do it. <laughs> I was like, should have let him. Should have let, let him in. I would have, it could have been right. my plus one. Uh, plus one thousand pounds, that would have been. Sir, <laughs> you'll probably deposit down maybe an hour or something. <laughs> oh, so, uh, yeah, so the, the roof uh, came off her. That was a great um, uh, She ended really well as well. Um, he's killing at the moment, yeah. yeah he's yeah. doing fucking brilliant but, at the moment. Um, I will say this, he looked fucking afraid going on after me. <laughs> he didn't. He, he, nah. he was fucking great. Uh, we were both standing in the back of the room like, I think we're getting pretty good at this. <laughs> it's only taken a decade and a half. But uh, oh, I'm starting to feel, man, it's really coming together. <sighs> you with your eight at least fucking grand house shows. One of us is. With my psoriasis and my apartment. Is he not nine now? Could be. Could be. I think it's uh, nine. Fucking class, like. Fucking unreal. And it's the fucking nicest room. Like, I've told him I'll do support for no money. Just because <laughs> the opera house is great to do stand-up in. I know I decided. And there's one bit of the stage that's original, one we square the stage at, from the original Grand Opera House. Right. So the likes of fucking Oscar Wilde stood on it. Right. Bill Hicks has stood on it. Like, right. And it's, it's, you stand on it and you go, I've probably got some sort of disease from all the spores come off that, but. <laughs> and you, you're following it. I mean, I. I, I you know, I, well, do, I, do I regret, uh, you know, not doing Shane's warm up and taking on yours instead? No. Of course not. There's more money in Because who head. would want? Uh, uh, not. <laughs> but who would want? <laughs> who would want to do nine shows at the opera house? Man, <coughs> see what you do, but nine of them you don't really care. Anymore. Like I, I don't know. Right. Uh, supporting Paddy Kelly. It says supporting Paddy Kelly going on before. I mean, there's very little support whenever you're racking the place. Like. <laughs> you know what I mean? There uh, you go, Patsy fella. Do your best. <laughs> 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 go on ahead. I heard bad reports actually about Mr. KLD who recently came to Oma. A lot of bad reports about oh, really? him. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Taking coke again, I <laughs> No, I just, uh, a lot of people, yeah, didn't enjoy it. Do you know what the thing about Paddy Kilty is? And not this isn't a, because I've often found him to be quite a nice guy and he was always very I've never met him. I've, I've seen him once, like 20 years ago, but I've never seen him. He, I mean, genuinely gave me, like, my first proper sort of leg up in, in show business. Right, okay. Like, without a doubt, I, I actually owe him quite a lot of, of money. Not money because he pays fuck all, but uh, yeah, in fact, he owes me a fortune. Um, but generally, I always find him to be a fucking really nice guy and uh, have a lot of time for him. I think the thing is, is that he, in terms of stand up, if you're not doing stand up all the time, you're out of practice. Oh, absolutely. He's so, so rusty, so quick. You know, and it, the, the, you don't realize how much the landscape changes until you're back doing it again. Yeah. So things that. How does he, have you ever watched him recently? No. I didn't get seen the last tour, no. I'm just wondering, how does he address... Because, like, you know the way Gervais would do it, that he's got so much money that he makes a joke. Yeah. You know, how, how does Kiel do it? Because that is the problem. That's what this, this person said to me. It was a woman said, it was just, you know, it wasn't as effective because you're like, oh, you're rich. See, and I'm now, like, oh, that's which, not... I mean, you should be looking at the skill of aye, what he's called. And that's about. another problem that Paddy Kilty has that we all have from this country. You love somebody doing well until they do too well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So I remember hearing a story that... 
who was telling me this? He did a show in Derry one night and there was some scandal came out about either a politician or a sports star, not paying tax or whatever it was. Right, and okay. it embezzled right, yeah. fucking however many thousands it was. And Kilty Pony came out and was talking about it and then went, give out like the figure of the number. I went, sure, I wouldn't even do a corporate for that, right? <sighs> Joke. Now, I don't know if he was attempting to do a sort of a Ricky Gervais-esque yes. type of, I'm going to pretend to be arrogant now that I've made my money. But yeah. whatever way it happened, the entire crowd apparently went, well, no, fuck you, hey. Uh, Who do you think you are? And, Ger- and, and that's what I'm going to say. I think it's, a, it's, it's definitely us here. Gervais couldn't get away with it here. But then Gervais... Do you know in that sense? Well, no, but, but he, but he was acted it very well. Uh, he was doing so his he'd brand already, he already well, lined that joke up from yeah. the office. But, uh, yeah, no, I, don't, I just like that begrudgery that's about... In this on this island, north and south, as you say, when you get two, look at the fucking the likes of Bono and all those. Aye, if you get until they start making, they start making too yeah. much money, and then you're a cunt. So what the fuck would he know? Oh. Uh, um, but yeah, I thought that that vibe off the person who sent me about Kilty, I thought oh, that's not fair because you should judge him on the material, not his Aye. personal. Speaking too much money, and checking your own millions, I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, yeah. So uh, that, that's. Uh, that was a, a, a come down, I would say, on Saturday night. Then was there? That's why the three three quarters bottle of Jameson happened. It was the buzz must have been fucking. It was it was a very weird thing where the because again, and I kind of get where Geddes was coming from, where Shane's coming from now that you've actually done the gig. Mm-hmm. Part of me was going, maybe the night he'll go. It's fucking Saturday, my fuckers. Oh, let's go. And, and I'd be all Shane. Why are you talking about? <laughs> I was confused. That's God. rude, <laughs> Kevin. Sorry about that. He fucking never gets out. I'm, I'm wild wild that's cultural cultural conversion um, yeah you saw a wee bit of your things maybe tonight mm. you know and then somebody was telling me that this pumped the sound from the stage into the dressing room that he's in right but then I went out for a smoke after my set and he hadn't even arrived at the building yet so you're like he's not even here he's not even here to you hear know? Yeah. so yeah. which kind of just you get a wee bit of wind knocked out of you because you go oh, it would have been nice if he'd been yeah. heard some of it yeah um, and 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 part of me was annoyed, not annoyed, but part of me was like just disappointed that night of Lavery's that he, you know, he wasn't. But then I also have to try and think of it from his point of view. Of oh, going, I mean, imagine what that's like. I, you know, the, the fact, like, we, we see Geddes, you know, when we walk with Geddes, and sometimes it happens with you and Shane as well, but a lot of times it's Geddes, especially mm-hmm. the Barry Blender stuff, where you're getting stopped like every third or fourth group of I, people. Imagine just every fucking yeah. group. I mean, it's, everybody wants it's to. It's got crazy. Do you know what I think is really interesting as well? It's, it's happened in Lavery's a few times is you can go on and absolutely fucking destroy a gig, like murder it. Yeah. And she and her Colin could be watching and people will walk straight past you and get a photo of them too. Yeah. You're like, listen, they it's, don't even impress you. This <laughs> yeah, it's a celebrity thing, isn't it? Because they it's are. It's a very, very weird thing. They're, like, they're, they're borderline celebrity slash comedian. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, like we would be seen as comedians. Aye. But they have that it's, it's added the, thing of celebrity uh, and money. I've been watching a bunch of stuff as well about like the the Chris Rock Will Smith thing, and I think it was Jim Jeffries and a bunch of American comedians. Even Tom Segura was another one, who they were basically going comedians should stop hosting the Oscars. Yeah, because and Jim Jeffries he wasn't goes, hosting that. Yeah, they're fucking Jim weird. Jim Jeffries thing. goes comedians in the in the sort of showbiz arts yeah. ladder. He goes, they're the fucking lowest on the rung. He goes, below comedians are jugglers. And he goes, and jugglers are more talented than comedians. <laughs> comedians are more talented than actors. But that's not how it works. No. <laughs> He's so like, I true, once saw yeah. a juggler juggle three on chainsaws. <laughs> 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 and no one knows who the fuck he is. That is so true, yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I, 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 I can understand. if, if uh, I've never had it, obviously, but if you're a Hollywood level like Kevin Hart um, in a small country like this. Yeah. I mean, walking when, down, when, when I think you came out of the limelight and every person, I mean, every single, there would be a queue waiting yeah. for photographs. When he did, there were people t- there were people there trying to just scab photos and photographs anyway. Right, okay. Um, and then... Not a view. W- but. No, no, no. No. Nobody even said it fucking low to me. Nobody even said, well done. Oh, no way. Hey. Swear to God. Because oh. I'm standing on the back wall, so people kept walking to the toilet, and I was looking, I, I, I will admit, I was doing this when people walked past, like... They were like... <laughs> Somebody just tell me it was great. Because see, because I had to bring Shane on, I didn't even get to go, thanks very much. I oh, no way. Anymore. You don't even get your own Shane. You don't get your name out. Do you, oh, you have to bring some guys on, maybe oh, I'll just fucking stand out here and <laughs> Pretend apologize I'm for the damage to the ceiling. Look like an usher for the toilets. That was the night where people fell through the smoking area, you know? <laughs> Wrecked the roof out hard. That's not true. No. Uh, you'd have heard of that. <laughs> but, um, oh, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say now. Anyway, it was good. Yes, no, I was going to say, like, Let's be honest. You know, 180,000 people applied for tickets. Yeah, we, said, we were saying the, that last right, week. Right, so, how many went for this one? I don't know, but 180,000 people is a tenth of the population of the country. Yeah. So, one in ten. In, in the same five minutes. Just in the north, yeah. Yeah. But don't forget, you would have had people from yeah, Cork the trying north, to get fucking tickets. I.e., the country. 
Apologies to all our loyal listeners. Fucking Chucky Arkeezy here. Fuck up. Jesus wept. It's the I island. said the island. I did say that. Did I say country? Yeah. Sorry, I apologize for that. For all our fucking stupid Fenian bastard. <laughs> My son's really like that. I'm not. You are. I'm not. Deep down, you are. I deep down, I'm not. You hate yourself. You hate fucking You're Polish a people. Self loathing tag. I hate myself. I ask grands because I'm a Catholic. Used to be. <laughs> Which is a nightmare. To, to feel guilty about not being guilty. <laughs> <laughs> what am I sugar now? <laughs> the original Catholics, of course, the Jews. What's that? Oh, 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 what did you say? Oh. Oh, somebody put, uh, James put a poll up on the Deck Chair and Yum's Instagram on the ice. 33 votes for ice. One vote for ice poll. Thank you, dear listeners. None of them are from, t- one boy from Tyrone. Oh, uh, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Many me from Tyrone. may just be Oma. I don't even so know. It's just one, it's two, it's one it less. It just be it. our park. It might be your balls. house. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the mates all call it ice balls too, so as. Uh, but eventually they called them ice pops and you're all, it's fucking poll, hey? No. That's not, no, I'm fucking telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's Ice Pole. I fucking talked to a fellow on Twitter who told me about it. <laughs> fucking polling nuns. I bet you you're involved with you're, you're I bet you you were fucking involved. What do you see? Elon Musk got a tweet. Fucking you, give me, pop. you give me a, a lot more credit than I you're would be there have had. You're going to be there all the fucking, the slushy as a pause. <laughs> um, yeah, you don't know where I grew up. I didn't get a chance to speak at all. Yes, I don't get to dictate I will, opinions sh- like I do on here. <laughs> Right here, that's been an hour. Thanks very much for listening. We're going to go do some questions on Patreon. You're going to suck an ice pole? Fuck you! Right, ice pop the whoppies. That's um, a cold Polish boy. <laughs> I shouldn't even, I know. I, I don't even. I mean, they're all pretty cold. That's pretty cold out there. <laughs> that's why they talk like this. It's because they're used to talking inside the hood. It's too cold to take face out. I would like to talk broken English. I speak Polish sometimes, but usually a so-called broken English keep my throat warm. <laughs> Do you need tarmac? <laughs> I am Polish gypsy. Do you like tag? <laughs> I killed the tag for you. Oh. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening. We're going to go to Patreon and answer some uh, listeners' questions. Yes. Uh, so if you enjoy the podcast, please join our Patreon. If you don't enjoy it, then snag up your fucking hope. These uh, we review on Spotify too. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah. maybe fucking ice pop along. No? Well, it's not ice pop along. Ice pop along sounds like Anna Long's cousin. <laughs> Anna Long, that's a fucking niche reference. She's not even going anymore. She's still going. <coughs> Anna Long is a place. You're thinking of Anna Lowe. <laughs> But sure, they all look the same to you. You know what I mean? I was thinking all of them. <laughs> Thank you. That's good me night. with a finger on the pulse. That's all it is. Wasn't any good at geography. <laughs> but quite good at racism. So, <laughs> I have a degree. Not in geography, but... Oh, fucking right, No, right. <coughs> Thank you very much, everybody, for listening. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Joanna Lowe has a twin sister <laughs> called Anna Loverfing. I don't know why they gave him the same first name. It doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. All right, see you later. Bye bye. Oh. What's up, motherfuckers?